Do 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 do. I love my red flower. Hey you! What? Uh, who who said that? Are you sick and tired of wasting glass while changing the color of your beacon? Uh, why sure, but. Well, waste no longer with the new and improved Glass Breaker 3000. Change your glass up to 10 times more efficient. But don't take our word for it. Here are some reviews from real life beacon users. My wife likes it, my kids like it, and that's good enough for me. I wasn't sure at first, but after a while, I really got to enjoy this. The Glass Breaker 3000. Now with 75% more glass. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. In order to build this, you put your favorite block of wool, or the color that you want to use for the beacon, in the center. Surround that entirely by any block of your choosing. Place a button in the center of the middle block. No, then come up two, two out and one up from that. Then... Then off of that, make an L shape coming out, with one block raised above it. Add a torch onto that. After that, you want to make an L shape that connects both lines that you have previously installed. On these, you want to put repeaters. And cover every other block with redstone. You want the blocks that are right beside the 3x3 thing containing a piece of wool to be half slabs. This is so the signal can go up from the bottom layer, but not down from the top layer. When the last repeater is placed toward when the last repeater is placed facing towards the other repeater, it causes a piece of bedrock to appear in the middle of it. This means that the repeater is in locked mode, meaning it cannot send or receive a signal. However, if it has a signal already, it will hold that signal. It will hold that signal until the repeater is unpowered. These next few these next few blocks will connect the button to the piston that will control the beacon. You want to duplicate this for as many colors as you want to switch to. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will speed up creating a second one. that only one piston could be raised at a time. This is good because it shows us the beacon will not have the same color. No, this is good because it shows us the beacon will not have colors going at the same time, thus messing it up. For any of you skeptics that say there would be no real point to this in survival Minecraft, I respond to you with a question. Have you ever heard of Mario Kart? This is an overview of the entire build. As you can see, we have almost every color in the game built in here. Um, it's the exact same thing that I showed you over there, only duplicated on a mass scale. And I had to put these things in here. These are called um, 
two-way repeaters because they are able to send a signal back and forth, whereas a single repeater would only be able to send it one direction. This is good for the machine because it has to be able to send a signal of all parts of the machine. This is good for the machine because it has to be able to send a signal to the entire uh, to the entire system of pistons in order to let it know to turn everything off except for the one you wish to be powered. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want a tutorial of the Mario, if you want a tutorial of the Mario Kart stop sign, let me let me know when you will, let me know when you'll be getting that within the next week. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.